Okay, so my machine's kind of working the way that I would expect it to, so I'm just going to continue on and just adding in these additional little bits of detail just here. Okay, so let's just have a little look, see what else we've got. Cube, this big kind of shape here that we're looking to build in again, just keep it all relative. We don't need to be using or modeling um, sort of crazy sort of stuff. Let's go projection mapping. And let's just position this roughly where we think it is. This is, I'd probably say this is a bit further back. Maybe change this to world. Push this back. And then let's just position this so. And maybe what I could do is have a little look at this. So we'll see what we get. Just position this just like this. So we're looking to try to. I'm just trying to match this shape up here a little. <coughs> uh, change this back to object mode, uh, and like for the translations. Let's just pull this out a touch, and let's just um, again back to world. Let's just grab these verts down here. Close this down, and then let's just sort of position this just so. Let's just pull this over here. Let's just. Uh, remove that from the selection and again we'll just sort of fill this to sort of there there so you can see what we're doing we're, we're just blocking out these shapes <coughs> command and D to duplicate that piece of mesh this is behind this other piece of geometry so again we can just um, sort of scale this down a touch and actually what we could do is let's just select invert selection and get rid of this so this looks like some kind of broken unit <coughs> so this might need to be sort of pushed around a little more to sort of fit where we at so this is just sort of cool that looks pretty good <coughs> looking at this this looks like some kind of cabinet so let's just extrude this push this out a touch And then let's just grab this and grab this and pull this over a touch. Insert edge loop. And again, we kind of want to grab these faces. So just grab this and then extrude this uh, sort of downwards. That's we'll try. again, you've got to remember a lot of this is really just being sort of eyeballed, as in, like, you know, we're just gauging where the positions are roughly. Um, But you know, we should get some really interesting results from it. That's the idea. Okay, so yeah, and then maybe this could be pulled out so, and then this also you pull this out as well, maybe push it up a touch so it's in line with this uh, area here. <coughs> there we go you can kind of see the makings of a bit of a scene coming together we've got this image that we're working with and we've got largely we can, we can see what's sort of going on here so there if we just extrude this out pull this out a touch so we've got this full sort of scene this is where Obviously things might get a little interesting, so again we go edge loop, let's just run this edge loop um, up and again we might just have to tweak this to sort of fit, hit G, tweak to fit, hit G, 
And we'll just sort of G. There we go. So this looks pretty good. So just roughly lining this up. G and then pull out there. And then there we go. G, so we've got this kind of flattened part of the room. Double tap there to there. Hit D to change the pivot point to over here. Let's just run that up there. And I'd say we're kind of okay. Obviously, we've got a bit of a tree um, just there, but this should be fine to just sort of chop this out. And again, what we could do, because of the way we've modelled this in, let's have a little look. Could um, let's just get rid of these bits here, and then select these edges. So select these edges because we want to try to create this um, window lip, I suppose, and then that bag of touch and then yeah there we go so kind of yeah okay we are kind of creating this uh, little uh, it's ultimately with the uh, projection mapping we, we're just creating a little bit of an illusion with it it's not an exact science that this is 100 percent accurate but we're just trying to fool the eye into thinking that all right okay that could conceivably be that um part of the um, the environment that we've, we've looked at or whatever so yeah that could do with a bit of a tidy up but I think on the whole you get the general idea of what we're looking to achieve with this <coughs> again so any any parts that are needing a little bit of work so that to me sort of says the, f the floor's been stretched there so let's just pull that down a little and you can see it tightening up that texture from the floor obviously this doesn't matter because this cube piece of geometry is in front of it um again as well um let's just we've got this little kind of element over here this sort of looks like a little kind of shelf almost like is it a half a door or something it's hard to tell actually so just this piece here like there this oh, actually i think that's just a piece of wood misshapen wood or something so yeah we'll just line this up so again cross reference in both the 3d image and the image that we're projecting from so there we go so we're just sort of squashing that down a little and vertex let's just grab these verts and just sort of pull them in <coughs> Again, I'm not too fussed about this, whether it's floating or not, it, it's fine. You're not actually, you're not going to be uh, have this as a scene where you could fully walk around. It's purely to sort of, I guess, fool the eye into thinking like, oh, you know, potentially you could walk through a small slither of it, I suppose, or, or quick rotate of the camera type of thing. You're not going to be uh, uh, have a full 3D scene built from it. That's, uh, I think, the thing that make really, really clear with this. So any of these bits and pieces that we need to tweak, just insert an edge loop and insert an edge loop. And we can just kind of pull this down to sort of line up a little more with what it is that we're creating. Or looking to create. And there you go. So from here you're gonna get you're gonna get some interesting results. <coughs> so on the whole, that works okay. Um yeah, you know what? There's a few things that we could tidy up within this. But, by and large, I think that will give us enough to work with for the purposes of this and what we're trying to create, and, or trying to get the sense of. So let's just grab this little bit there. That's more sort of in there, I suppose. Okay. Right, so next up, uh, what we'll do is let's show non sure polys i mean yeah we could add more things in here but that's that's sort of fine i think for the time being it gives us an idea and you can see that the sort of depth at the moment that we, we can force yes there's a lot of things that we need to tidy up like the textures being projected onto this wall we can remove quite easily 
and what we need to do is just very quickly UV automatic UV and okay it's gonna kind of go a bit awry that's fine go to edit delete by type history which we've done there and then come back to the projection texture break that connection and we'll just relink it my is just decided to have a bit of an off day creators projection uh, perspective projection shape so we're just basically relinking those cameras and then go back here to Chernobyl everything should line up hit six whoa it will I'm guessing just be a, um, it's just Maya being Maya unfortunately I'm not losing any sleep over it what I'll do is quickly save it and um, what we'll do is we'll we'll close it down we'll reopen it so we'll go back my Right, so let's just quickly reopen that file, Chernobyl, don't save. Oh, interesting. I'm guessing that this is possibly to do with the lighting. Two-sided lighting. Why is this not showing me my textures for projection texture? Condescence. That's really interesting. Okay. Show all. Like this camera that's not moved, it's a projection camera. That's here. Ah, uh, I don't think that's moved. Projection camera, perspective camera. Projection camera, please. I'm just double checking to see what this could be. Light and use all lights. Flat lighting, nope. Break connection. Create as projection. Perspective. Projection camera. Reload it. Alright, oh, okay, is that what it is? Desktop Chernobyl. Six. That is really, really, really annoying us. So much so that it's uh, very much so taking the jam out of my donut. <laughs> okay, what I'll do is I'll save this out and I'll have a little look, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll solve this.